the following video, you're going to see real life. You're going to see me in the nitty gritty of life. No makeup. My clothing is dirty because I've been working all day on the homestead. I'm going to give you just a glimpse of reality and that homestead is not an easy way of living. Some would say, well, one acre is not really homesteading. But homesteading is what is in your heart. And if you grow your food and have livestock or however you perceive homesteading to be, that's what it is for you if you're learning to be more self-sufficient in your life. The way a person lives, it's not cut and dry. You can't just say one person lives this way or lives that way. That makes it so. Homesteading for me is trying to be the most self-sufficient. I'm going to share with you a series of videos that have really helped me in this endeavor. With you something that I've really been enjoying. Back in 1977, there was a series from the UK and it was called The Survivors. And it was basically about exactly what was happening today, but it was fictional. And of course, it was more doomsday. It shared about how everybody died except for a handful of people and how they survived. They have it on YouTube called The Survivors. I really would really recommend you watching it. So it's teaching me so much. And I remember as a child seeing it a few times, but it is really remarkable. Now, some of it, you know, gets really extreme. And my mother didn't let me watch it very often, but it really has life lessons. And so much of what they said is going on in this world, with so much of what they said was going on actually is going on now. Like, it's amazing how it was predicted that way. But I guess I figured in life, there's always going to be pandemics and there's always going to be things like that. So collecting seeds is one of the things that is really important. You know, that you collect your own seeds as much as you can if you grow your own food. If you don't grow your own food, then having food like at a windowsill, you can grow wheat at your window and use the green of the wheat to help give you some greens that you can have in a salad. So you don't have to have a garden, per se, to be able to produce some food for yourself. Herbs are really important because in a off-grid situation or if things would happen really bad, you would want to season your food. And so herbs season your food so it's not so bland. You know, in the Bible times, salt was so important. And in this series that they share, they were sharing how they can't find any salt. And salt they use to preserve a lot of things. It just is a fascinating series. Like I said, it's very old, but I'm telling you the information, you all should watch it. No matter where you come from or, you know, what you're able to do as far as self-sufficiency, it's very, very interesting. I decided to film seven hours of working outside in a matter of basically one minute. A little different editing, but I think you're going to enjoy it. What does seven hours of homestead work look like? Well, here it is.
my friends, embrace the life that you're in, no matter what it is. No matter your physical limitations or what circumstances you're living in today. Embrace them. And you know what? Like my mama always said, just take one day at a time.